came in last, well, that's the first thing that has to come out. So what I'm going to do... So this is a yellow-breasted chat. So I've got a good grip on this bird now, and I'm going to bring it out of the shed and bring it toward me, and then I have to get the bird untangled. And you can see how tangled they get. It can be difficult at times. Have you ever had to cut the net? Very rarely. I've been doing this for 22 years now, and I've only had to cut the net maybe three or four times. So this wing is out, so I want to keep this wing under control. So this bird is a little bit bigger than some that you've seen, and so the net it's a little harder to get over there, that head because the head's bigger. Yeah, I have to get this other foot out. First. And they have, this is nothing compared to the chickadees in the room. Oh. They're, they're struggling. They get in there and get, it's like a ball in that and it's really difficult. So these guys are not bad. They have bigger feet on them and they can really grab, grab, grab net and so forth, but it's not bad. Grab the bag, edge of the bag with their bill or their feet. So what I want to do is I want to turn it upside down and then rotate the bird right side up. And I've got him in the bottom of the bag in my fingertips, putting my hand like this, still in my fingertips at the bottom of the bag. And as I take my hand up, I go like that. You don't see any bird, you see a feather. But you don't see any bird and you don't see any tail either. The other thing is important to get down is the tail. And so now that I've got that, I'll squeeze the bag closed. He's down there. I'll take a finger. Just around there. So I'll pull it tight like that, go like this. And we have one bag dirt. May I pin this to your shirt? I want to pin it up high. Okay. I don't want it to go down low because then if she would bend over, squish. Or if she carries it in her hand, she falls down, squish. So we're going to pin it right here. Might kick a little bit, okay? Don't worry about it. Okay, start walking normal. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> so open but keeping it closed and then figure out where the head is. Yep, looks pretty red like. Well, have you guys all gotten to see the process where we open the band? So now I have the band in these pliers. And just okay. stick it around the leg like that. Now and then you again. We're on a run with zeros. Head now, anybody wants to go. Good luck. And then guide it in upside down, Vireos tend not to like it very much. And then get the feet in there, and then I kind of hold my finger there for a second. Okay, 10.3, and then I'll back it out, not pulling on the tail. So like I'm not even putting any pressure on the tail, I'm putting a little bit of pressure on the wing, and then I'll kind of collapse my fingers around it, and then I reach in to get the bandage grip again. Nice and dark and round. There's a difference in age here, see that? Yeah. But this is his alternate molt. So, do you guys see all these really bright yellow feathers mm -hmm. on like that half yeah. of those greater coverts? Mm -hmm. So this is him cheating to spruce up for the spring. So when he folds his wing, the only feathers the ladies are seeing are these and then the tertials. So instead of going to, you know, all that extra work and replacing those four feathers too, He's only doing these five. All right, nice table. Now hold real still. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> he was in a hurry to get away.